Welcome back everyone to HSAA TV Weekly. We are joined now by Winona flag football coach Cedric Lane, an outstanding player, Michaela Williams. Welcome to the program, you guys. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, thanks for joining us. Well, you guys were able to win a state championship in Bryant-Denny last year. So coach, tell us a little bit about this team, the team you're building now and the success that you've had so far. Uh, the team that we, we're building now, this is a very inexperienced team. We lost maybe nine players from last year. And I, I think maybe six of them were like some of our top players, top contributors last year. Uh, so we, we got a very experienced quarterback. This will be her first year, I mean, her fourth year starting as a quarterback. And uh, she's just trying to carry us. But we got players like Michaela who have stepped up and uh, claimed two very important roles uh, this season that's carrying us so far. Well, Coach Lane, you know, you say that your team's inexperienced, but um, I was going to ask you about a tournament that you recently won down in Dothan. Um, tell us, yeah. how do you feel like playing in tournaments like that? It, it helps build your team and, and good, for, good to build that experience that you may need. I think it's always good to play in uh, tournaments that are away from home. You get a chance to see a lot of competition that you wouldn't normally see. Uh, different talent levels, different styles of play. And uh, we went and represented it. Uh, Michaela, she she made the uh, she won MVP down there in the tournament. Well, that's awesome, and Michaela, I want to turn it to you. So this year, you know, since flag football is a relatively new sport to the AHSAA, but this year the girls in flag football will be competing for the same blue mat that the boys compete for in football. So, Michaela, what does that mean to you and to the to your teammates to compete for that blue mat? It means a lot because it's new. It's something new for us, and I'm I'm just ready. I'm just ready to get get it started. It means so, Michaela, do you play any other sports? I play basketball. Well, and Coach, I wanted to ask you, you know, a lot of times with flag football being so new, uh, the flag football coaches have to share their athletes with other sports. So how do you feel like Michaela and others on your team are able to balance playing more than one sport? Um, for the most part, they've done a great job with that. And uh, I mean, that's that's just something that we do. Even like last year, we the day before the state championship game, we, we played a basketball game that night. I think the championship games on Wednesday, we played a basketball game that Tuesday night. So I was just over there with my fingers crossed, nobody uh, rolled the ankle. So, they, you know, they, they kind of built for it. They do both uh, every day. And so when the season starts, they're kind of used to it. Well, Michaela, what advice would you have for any other girls that were looking to start a flag football program at their school? Um, just, just put in the work. You got to put in the work. Pick God first. But you always got to put in the work and keep pushing. You can do whatever you want to do. You know, like we, we did it. Anybody can do it, not just us. So I feel, yeah, just, just put in the work and just... Pin in your head that what you want to do, make it happen. Make it happen. Uh, she, she, she became more of a, more of a, um, she was a running back mostly last year, but she became more of a uh, receiver. She worked on a route run a lot more. This year we used her more as a rusher. So her roles have changed, you know, based on uh, her skill set and, and the way that she's improved by, you know, the work that she put in. Well, and Coach, I can tell just from what you're saying about her changing positions and then from Michaela's answer that she is a leader on your team. So tell me a little bit about her role as a leader, even off the field. Well, well and we call her Toot, but, you know, Toot just got one of those infectious personalities that people just cling to her and they follow her, you know. And, uh, you know, I had a conversation with her earlier this year about that. Like, she, she, she definitely has the ability to be a leader, a natural leader. And people just cling to her, and, and she's normally, normally she's doing the right things. And she, she always comes with the right attitude, and she's always open to teach the younger teammates the right way to do different things. And uh, she's just a very valuable player on the team right now. 
Well, Coach Lane and Michaela, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. We wish you all the best as, like you say, you are building this team after losing so many players last year. But I think with the continued success that you have already enjoyed, we will see you back in Protective Stadium, hopefully this December. I still hope so. That's the plan. You all you. right. Thank you both so much. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. And we'll be right back after this on AHSAA TV Weekly.